major developments in the Urian Timber to Arsenal story. Yes, people, wife boy, welcome back to another Arsenal transfer news video. As always, if you absolutely love being kept up to date with daily Arsenal transfer news, this is the place to be. Make sure you subscribe down below. We're to 3,000 subscribers. It's a win win for both of us. Let's get straight into the story. Comes here back for Britsha Romano stating this exclusive Arsenal have submitted a second official proposal to Ajax in order to get Urian Timber deal done this week. Talks advancing between clubs after 30 million opening bid rejected. Personal terms are agreed last week on five-year contracts. And he followed this up with a few tweets stating that the deal will be around 45 to 48 million pounds, which is a lot of money, but that's the type of money it's going to take to prize away a talented young asset in Urian Timber from Ajax. I absolutely love this potential deal. I've said it before on this channel, I've covered Urian Timber in previous videos. I think he's a brilliant type of player for Arsenal. You're looking at a player that was scouted previously by Arsenal and actually came very close to a Manchester United move in January in the summer before. We know he worked under Eric Ten Hag for Ajax previously. 21 years of age, a captain already at Ajax at that young age, man. Versatile, centre-back and right-back, comfortable with the ball at his feet, can slot into midfield, can potentially play that John Stones role. And we see how Pep Guardiola at Man City has implemented the style right where... He said, you know what, I want everyone to be able to defend. The four centre-back style, I call it, man. Stones, Laporte, or Akanji, Diaz, and Ake. You're talking about four centre-backs in defence. Competent defenders with stone slots into midfield. If I just could do something similar, he potentially could do so. I'm looking at Yuri and Timber potentially playing that Stones role. Then you've got White at centre-back with Saliba and Gabriel. And that could be Arsenal's back four. That could be a viable option. But regardless of a Timber starts or sits on the bench and Zinchenko starts, for example, or Kivio starts... It gives Arsenal options, gives Arsenal versatility. You're always going to want versatility in football and have the opportunity to play in multiple facets because Arsenal, everyone knows their starting 11. Everyone, everyone knows Arsenal's best 11. It's too obvious now. And no matter how good Arsenal played last season, teams are going to adapt. You're going to get found out one way or another. So you can't get complacent. You always got to keep adapting your style. And I do think Urian Timber gives Arsenal that versatility. Really good young player as well. And we also see that he ticks a lot of boxes for Arsenal. Young, as I said previously, 21 years of age, but also a captain and a leader. Towards the back end of last season, Arsenal played brilliantly for the first few months of the season, right? First several months. But as soon as it reached April, May, June, Arsenal really started to dip off. Really started to dip off. As soon as came up out of that international break, got a brilliant win against Leeds United. But since then, really bad form. As soon as the pressure got heavy, as soon as the light started shining, as soon as the graphic came up on Sky Sports, saying race for title between Arsenal and Man City, it all became a little too much for the Arsenal players. There wasn't enough leaders in that squad. Whereas when you look across the Man City, the Gunda ones of the world, the Ruben Diaz, etc., they knew exactly what to do in those key moments, the Rodri's. And it helped power Man City over the line to get the treble. So you're looking at Uri and Timber. You're looking at Declan Rice. These are two captains of their football club to come in to revolutionise the team. To bring real, real leadership and steel to the side. So look, 45 million. A lot of people say that's a lot of money, especially for someone that's not guaranteed to start. That's the way of the market nowadays, man. That's the how much it's going to cost. Arsenal proved that they're willing to spend money early. 65 million to Kai Havertz, that deal is basically done. I've dropped a welcome to Arsenal Kai Havertz video already in this channel. Feel free to check it out. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It outlines his strengths, weaknesses and his potential Arsenal fit. We know the Declan Rice deal is going to be advancing. Man City have recently launched a bid. I expect Arsenal to launch their third bid for Declan Rice as well. And it'll be a straight shootout Western style between Man City and Arsenal for Declan Rice. And at the same time, looking at Urien Timber to Arsenal. And it'll be a really good deal to get over the line as well. Another thing is, right, I've talked about this so many times in this channel. This is the time for Arsenal to spend big. You're looking at 200 million potentially spent if Declan Rice gets over the line alongside Uri and Timber and of course Kai Havertz, but that's the right mentality. You, you can't get complacent in football. We've got Champions League right now and although I believe Arsenal will get at least Champions League top four next season, if not more potentially win a league title or Champions League if I've been optimistic enough, you never know in football. I mean, even the most pessimistic of Liverpool fans last season would not have expected their team to fall out of the Champions League spots. They would have said at worst, maybe a third place finish or fourth if you're really pushing it. They're out of the Champions League. They've got Europa League football now. Now, I still believe Man uh, Liverpool will be able to pull and attract the top players. They've already signed Alexis McAllister, for example. But it does diminish your pool a little bit. Arsenal next season might finish out the Champions League places and we're back to in the Europa League or God forbid out of Europe in, in total. Then you're looking at trying to convince players to join the project again. So while you've got Champions League, while you're one of the most attractive teams to come to in world football, I mean, you're looking at Declan Rice who would rather play for Arsenal than Bayern Munich. Same with Uri and Timber, etc. Uri and Timber literally told, literally told people and told other clubs he wants to come to Arsenal. 
talks of advance, personal terms already agreed. These players would love to join Arsenal Football Club. So while you've got that pull about you, while you're still a massive club in Arsenal Football Club, alongside Champions League, alongside having a youth project, alongside having the attraction of playing in one of the best leagues in world football, you got to capitalise on you got to bring in these top players and spend the money. Because if you're not moving forwards in football, uh, if you're moving backward, you're moving backwards. There's no such thing as moving sideways because relative to other clubs, they're going to improve. I mean, Man City just won the treble and they're bringing in Kovacic. They're bringing in uh, Radio, apparently. They've just bid for Declan Rice as well. Those are three big signings for Man City to improve themselves. You've seen Ilkay Gundogan being let go of. They're trying to improve upon. So if you're Arsenal Football Club, it's all about doing the same thing, improving your squad. If someone goes, you don't just replace, you improve upon. That's how I believe it's got to happen. I think Yuri Tim will be exactly that. He adds the steal in defence. He's another backup option. It means that players like Rob Holding, thank God, will never have to touch the field again for Arsenal Football Club if you can help it. So you're looking at Arsenal with real depth in that position now. A Ben White, a Tommy Yasu, a Yuri and Timber, a Saliba, a Gabriel and Kivior. Those are six centre-backs that I trust. That I trust wholeheartedly. Then you throw in Zinchenko. Then you throw in Tierney for these days. Those are eight defenders that I believe can you can win a Premier League title with and potentially a Champions League. I genuinely believe so. So I'm liking the look of Arsenal right now in terms of the incomings. A lot of money is being spent. I do expect subsequent outgoings to start to materialise as we start to push through deeper into the summer transfer window. I mean, pre-season is not far away, guys, man. I feel like the Premier League season just ended or the season just ended in general. But it's been over a month since the Premier League season. Well, it's been just about a month since the Premier League season ended, right? And pre-season is not far around the corner, only two, three weeks away. So I also got to make sure to get this squad in order quickly, make the make the purchases you need to make, get rid of the players that you want to get rid of and start to mould a real title in your squad that artists can push through to hopefully change for the Premier League and on multiple fronts, including the Champions League, FA Cup and potentially Carabao Cup next season. That's exactly what I want to see. On a side note, I will be dropping a subsequent video on Romeo and Lavia, but it seems Liverpool have entered that have registered their interest of play as well. I will be dropping a video on him as well as any sort of reports regarding the Declan Rice deal. Man City have submitted their bid. Arsenal I expect to come through the third bid as well if it hasn't really gone through already. Of course, I'll be releasing videos on that as soon as they come out. You don't want to miss it. So if you love daily Arsenal-related transfer news, I promise you guys, this is the place. Make sure you subscribe down below. we to 3,000 subscribers. And on the final note, I'm going to touch upon Emil Smith-Rowe, who scored against Israel for England in the under-21s. I believe European, uh, well, the Euros, European Championships. Big up him for that. Look, I'm not a massive fan of Emil Smith-Rowe. I've said it from before, but... If he can come back and really start to cement himself in potentially number eight position for Arsenal, you could see a different type of player. Because, look, not last season, but the season before that, Smith-Rowe was a quality player for Arsenal. Really good player. Fell out of favour a little bit of Arteta. You could see that. Got his injuries. Never fully recovered. I mean, he said himself that he's had to have injections. He hasn't quite treated the problem properly. Let's hope that he can get it over. Let's hope he can have a really good Euros, really good summer, rehab, train and come back fresh and hopefully get an, a, a real good time at Arsenal next season, real good run of games as well, I hope to be, because you're going to need a squad. I mean, we saw last season when Reese Nelson scored those goals against Bournemouth, against Forest, for example. Obviously, it didn't amount to Arsenal winning the title, but it just goes to show that you're going to need a squad at times. The unexpected players step up in big moments, and I think Smith Rowe could be that player for Arsenal next season. He could be the ace up the sleeve. You never know. But in it, to run off the video, Yuri and Timber, a new bid has been made by Arsenal, as confirmed by multiple uh, journalists, including Fabrizio Romano. It seems Arsenal the only team in for Yuri and Timber. If he's going to leave Ajax, it's going to be to Arsenal. They've submitted their second proposal. We're waiting to hear from Ajax to see if they accept it. I do expect them to at least, ex to, if not accept it, at least come through with a, a counter offer that is adequate and appeases both parties because Yuri and Timber wants to move himself. Personal terms are being agreed. This could be Arsenal's second transfer. Of the summer alongside Kai Havertz. So it's really good news on the Arsenal front. And Arsenal have been really active in the transfer window. As always, I'd absolutely love to hear your thoughts in the comment section regarding Uri and Timber to Arsenal. Do you want to see this deal happen? Or drive Arsenal target someone else? Let me know your thoughts on other Arsenal news. The Kai Havertz deal. That his medical basically going through and he will become an Arsenal player. As well as, of course, Declan Rice to Arsenal. That's been, that's been hotting up a lot recently. And we do expect it to reach the closing stages between Man City and Arsenal. Who is going to get the England international from West Ham United. I appreciate you all for tuning in. If you made it this far in the video, drop a like down below so this video gets out to more people in the algorithm. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And make sure you subscribe for new around here. More to 3,000 subscribers. And importantly, hit the bell notifications so you never miss a future video by myself. I appreciate you all for tuning in. And I hope to see you all in my next one. Take care.